Hey, it's time for some encouragement from your friends at Our Daily Bread. Marvin Williams penned today's devotional, and it's titled, Speaking Truthfully in Christ. A man was adept at beating his personal traffic tickets by lying. When he appeared before various judges in court, he would tell the same tale. I broke up with my girlfriend, and she took my car without my knowledge. In addition, he had been repeatedly reprimanded for misconduct while on the job. Prosecutors finally charged him with four counts of perjury and five counts of forgery for allegedly lying to judges under oath and providing fictitious police reports. For this man... Lying had become a lifelong habit. In contrast, the Apostle Paul said that telling the truth is a vital habit for believers in Jesus to live out. He reminded the Ephesians that they had put away their old way of living through surrendering their lives to Christ. Now they needed to live like the new people they had become, incorporating specific actions into their lives. One such action was something to cease, put off falsehood. And the other action, something to practice, speak truthfully to your neighbor. Because it protected the unity of the church, the Ephesians were to always have their words and actions be about building others up. As the Holy Spirit helps us, believers in Jesus can strive for truth in their words and actions then the church will be unified and God will be honored. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from Ephesians chapter 4, verses 22 through 29. You were taught, with regard to your former way of life, to put off your old self, which is being corrupted by its deceitful desires, to be made new in the attitude of your minds, and to put on the new self, created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. Therefore, each of you must put off falsehood and speak truthfully to your neighbor, for we are all members of one body. In your anger, do not sin, do not let the sun go down while you are still angry, and do not give the devil a foothold. Anyone who has been stealing must steal no longer, but must work doing something useful with their own hands, that they may have something to share with those in need. Do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs, that it may benefit those who listen. Now let's pray. Dear God, thank you for guiding us through your Spirit. Would you help us to live out the truth that sets us free? And just as Paul urged the Ephesians to put away falsehood and speak truthfully, would you help us honor you by embodying honesty and integrity in everything that we do? Thank you, Lord. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Thanks so much for listening today. My name is Wes Ward, and today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.